It's very well established that having a healthy gut microbiome is paramount to one's overall health. And by a healthy microbiome, I mean having a large diversity of species within your gut microbiome. It's kind of like other ecosystems in, on the planet Earth, like the rainforest. The more diversity of species that are there, the more stable the environment is because you have so many different chemicals being produced by so many different organisms that tend to stabilize the environment. Within the lower part of your small intestine and the entirety of your large intestine, there exists an ecosystem of microorganisms, each contributing to the welfare of other species and to the welfare of their host, which is you. So what if I told you that eating certain types of foods is lowering the diversity of species in your gut microbiome. And what if I also told you that for decades, farmers have used certain methods in raising their livestock that make the animals grow bigger and fatter, and this is also happening in you. If you eat a lot of dairy, eggs, and animal products, you may be doing more harm than good to your gut microbiome. The reason for this is that various types of antibiotics are used in animal husbandry indiscriminately for the promotion of growth of livestock and for the treatment of livestock. In other words, give a chicken antibiotics daily for its entire life, the chicken grows bigger. Give a cow antibiotics daily for every day of its life, the cow grows bigger. And why is this? Because the antibiotics are affecting the diversity of species within the animal's gut microbiome. But what does this have to do with you, right? Well, if you're eating animals, eggs, or consuming dairy products from animals that were treated with antibiotics, residues from those antibiotics are getting into your digestive tract and are having an effect on your gut microbiome. Just think about that for a minute. There's a lot of people who are apprehensive about taking a prescription of antibiotics, a short-term course of antibiotics that could be um, helpful for you if, you have a, a, if you've been diagnosed with something that warrants the antibiotics. But nobody ever thinks about the residues that are on their food, which you eat every single day, sometimes two or three times a day. Now, for those of you who are concerned about this, I'm not trying to tell you to give up all animal products and become vegan but I am telling you that there is a viable option that you have that could significantly reduce your exposure to these antibiotic residues. In the United States, USDA organic meats, eggs, and dairy come from animals that are not allowed to be treated with antibiotics. So that's your option. If you're eating any animal products, you should always opt to get ones that are USDA organic and when you eat out at a restaurant, know that this restaurant is very unlikely to be using organic unless they have it listed on the menu that it's USDA organic. You could assume that they're using meats and animal products that are tainted with antibiotic residue. So it's best to consume any animal products that you make at home using USDA organic ingredients. Also, when you're purchasing your meats and animal products at the grocery store, don't be confused by marketing tricks. And one major thing people always think, you know, it's grass fed, so it must be better. Well, it has to be organic and grass fed because if it's not organic and it's grass fed, it's still gonna have the antibiotic residues because that animal is gonna be treated with antibiotics. So I'm not saying that grass fed is bad. Actually, grass fed is better because of the type of fat that the animal produces on its body is less inflammatory with grass fed but it has to say 100% organic. And don't let them fool you with words like pasture raised, all natural, uh, A2 milk. These things do not mean that it is uh, organic. It has to say USDA organic. It has to have that on the label. So just be aware as an informed consumer. Just as a side note, if you watch any of my other videos, I talk a lot about keeping your gut microbiome healthy. So I'll give you a little summary right here. Um, you want to eat a lot of plant materials because the fiber is what feeds the good organisms. And you want to avoid refined sugars and refined flours because those feed the bad organisms. You want your gut to be colonized 
with the majority of beneficial species so that they can help your body extract certain things out of your food and reward you with things like short chain fatty acids. Now, a perfect diet really is a balanced diet where you're having a combination of plants and animal products, but you want to try to get them all organic actually. Your animal products are organic for sure because of the reasons why I said in this video, but you also want your plant products to be organic too because also um, uh, there's residues of pesticides that could also affect your gut microbiome. If you found this video valuable, please hit the thumbs up and leave a comment so that the YouTube algorithm helps put this video in front of more people. I thank you all for watching and we will see you in the next one.